Hi everyone. Here we will see how to calculate IV flow rate and duration of infusion. To calculate IV flow rate, we have two formulas. That is, IV flow rate in drops per minute we can calculate by using this formula, and we can calculate IV flow rate in milliliter per hour by using this formula. Okay, one by one we will see. So IV flow rate in drops per minute is equal to V divided by T into drop factor. That is, V means total volume to be infused. That is, the amount of total amount of fluid or total volume of fluid we need to administer to our patient divided by time in minutes into drop factor. So here, drop factor is a calibration of how many drops the tubing delivers equal one ml of fluid, and it may vary. Okay, it may be determined by the IV settings. That is, according to each IV tubings or IV uh, set, it it may different. The second formula is IV flow rate in milliliter per hour. So here the formula is V divided by T. V that is total volume of fluid in milliliter, and divided by time in hours. Here time in minutes because we need to calculate drops per minute. Here we need to calculate ml per hour. So that's why the formula is time in hours. Here time in minutes. Okay, total volume to be infused divided by time in hours. Next, the third formula is duration of infusion. If we want to calculate duration of infusion or infusion time, the formula is V divided by flow rate that is flow rate ml per hour is equal to that is total volume to be infused v means total volume to be infused divided by milliliter per hour being infused that is it is nothing but flow rate in milliliter per hour so if you know these formulas then the calculation will be easy here we'll see one example that is the physician orders 125 ml per hour the infusion set is calibrated for a drop factor of 10 gtt per ml 10 drops per ml calculate the iv flow rate in gtt per minute gtt per minute means drops per minute so here the flow rate in drops per minute we need to calculate so the formula for calculating flow rate in drops per minute is volume that is the total volume to be infused into drop factor divided by time in minutes so here the volume that is volume is 125 ml and time is per hour that is one hour and drop factor is 10 gtt per ml that is 10 drops per ml so here then we will be substituting these values that is volume is 125 ml that is 125 into drop factor is given in the question that is 10 drops per ml that is 125 into 10 divided by time is one hour so one hour we need to convert into minutes that's why we need to multiply it by 60 one hour means that is 60 minutes okay so one into 60 is equal to so when we'll be calculating this we'll get 20.83 that is 20.83 gtt per minute or drops per minute so here we know that 20.83 it's a fraction number so we can't give 20.83 drops per minute right now so here what we have to do is we need to convert that is we need to make it a round number that is how we have to make it round number means which is coming near to the whole number that is 20.8 that means it is near to 21 so we can make it as a round number so 21 drops per minute so this is the answer here we have an example the infusion set is adjusted for a drop factor of 15 gtt per ml that is 15 drops per ml calculate the iv flow rate if 1500 ml iv saline is ordered to be infused over 12 hours so here we have drop factor that is 15 drops per ml and the total volume to be infused is 1500 ml and the time is 12 hours here 
we need to calculate the IV flow rate in drops per minute. Okay, so here first we have to write the formula that is flow rate in drops per minute is equal to volume that is the total volume to be infused into drop factor divided by time in minutes and here total volume to be infused is equal to 1500 ml drop factor is already it has given that is 15 drops per minute sorry 15 drops per ml and the time is 12 hours so here we need to convert the time into minutes so the 12 hours is equal to 12 into 60 is equal to 7 20 minutes so here we have to substitute all these values that is in the formula v that is total volume is 1500 into drop factor is 15 divided by 7 20 so when we'll be calculating this we'll get 31.25 drops per minute here the answer is 31.25 that is a fraction number okay so we can't administer a fraction of drop to the patient right now so normally what we have to do here is we have to round the answer to a nearest whole number okay so 31.25 so the nearest whole number to this number is 31 so the answer is 31 drops per minute here we have another example that is the volume of the fluid is 1000 ml and the IV pump set at 62 ml per hour. How long will it take for the fluid to run? That means here we need to calculate the total infusion time. For calculating this infusion time, infusion time is equal to volume divided by that is the total volume to be infused divided by flow rate per that is milliliter per hour is equal to here the volume is 1000 ml total volume is 1000 ml and uh, IV pump, pump set at 62 ml per hour that is flow rate is equal to 62 ml per hour so here we need to substitute in the formula that is volume is equal to 1000 ml divided by flow rate is equal to 62 ml per hour so here it will be cancelled and here when we will be calculating this 1000 divided by 62 we will get 16.1 hour that is equal to 16 hours that means 16 hours it will take to infuse 1000 ml of fluid here we have another example that is 1200 ml dextrose IV is ordered to infuse in 10 hours by infusion pump calculate the flow rate in milliliter per hour so if we want to calculate flow rate in milliliter per hour the formula what we use is volume divided by that is total volume to be infused divided by time in hours so here total volume to be infused is total 1200 ml of fluid we need to administer that is volume is 1200 ml and time that is 10 hours so here we need to substitute the uh, values in the formula that is volume is equal to 1200 divided by 10 so the answer will be 120 ml per hour